Integrity and leadership. Whether a person is actively involved in the ministry or an appointed leader in the local church, this subject is very important. The words describing integrity place heavy responsibility upon all who are in a position of leadership. Integrity is the quality of state of being of sound moral principle, honesty, and sincerity. It implies an incorruptible soundness of moral character. Because of the present decline of integrity in many walks of life, it is of utmost importance for Christian leadership to be very careful in this area. It will do us all good to reevaluate our lives, and yes, even our ministries, and examine the ingredients of our service for God. The need of this hour is for a leadership that is upright, morally sound, honest, and sincere. Let's face it, not every leader among us in the past has possessed integrity, but this does not excuse present-day leadership to come up short. I don't suppose there's anyone who would want to be weighed in God's balances and found wanting. Can we all say as did David, Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. Psalm 7 and 8. Now questions may arise. Can integrity be set aside when worldly pressures get bad? Is it permissible to lay integrity on the shelf when there is temptation to let tempters flare up? Should a church leader forget about integrity so that he may get ahead in life? The answer to these questions and others of equal caliber is the same. Integrity must remain intact. The devil once said to God in simple words, All humans are the same. Every man will give up everything just to save his life, even his integrity. And God answered, You can try it on Job. He is perfect. He is upright. He fears God. He shuns evil, and his integrity is solid. Then Job's wife came along and said, Are you still going to keep your integrity? Forget it. Curse God and die. But in Job chapter 27, in response to more discouraging words, the faithful Job replied, Till I die, I will not put away my integrity. Honesty and sincerity. All of these are virtues which every Christian should possess. However, when the time comes for God to call His children to come together into one fold, they will be looking for that church which is established in and on integrity and truth, and her leadership must have these as identifying traits. May God help us to possess integrity in leadership.